So in this video, we're going to show you how to take a couple sheets of plywood and build yourself a room divider that's also a closet. We're the White family. We live in rural Alaska, and for us, it's DIY all day, every day. We're back at Grace's room. Last week we tackled a fur bed for her and it got us all excited to tackle the rest of the projects in this room. Unfortunately, this room does not have a closet system. It's more of an attic bonus room. So Jacob and I are going to create a room divider under this beam. On this side it'll look like a wall and then on the back side it will act like a master closet system. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll leave a 30 inch opening here and then from there to here we'll be a wall room divider with the closet on the back and then we'll leave a 30 inch opening here. So in the middle here we'll build an 89 inch room divider with the closet on the back. Jacob and I did think about building a permanent wall here and making it a permanent closet system but we decided not to do that because if we ever wanted to convert this room back into a bonus room for like crafts or maybe a workout room, it would really be a pain to take out a permanent wall. So instead what we're gonna do is build two towers on each end. And then we'll run a curtain rod in between the two towers on this side and then on the bedroom size, we'll panel that to look like a panel wall. So we're, we're gonna be working with plywood for this project because it's the right material to use. Um, so Jacob went ahead and woke up early this morning and rolled all the plywood white. So now we'll just have to do minimal painting in the room. We got all the plywood cut up, just ripped it up into strips and then cross cut to get the shelves and then the two sides. We're going to use pocket hole joinery, so we're going to hit the pocket hole machine and put four pocket holes in each shelf. So uh, all the pocket holes are drilled and we're going to go ahead and attach those to the sides, but we're going to use cut some spacers. So we're going to use the spacers to give us a guide point as so we know where to attach the shelves and we don't have to mark each and every one. So we're going to get started with assembly. So it's time to go ahead and cut the plywood for the back of the uh, shelving that we're going to build. So I, I can't use my table saw in this, so um, for me to get a nice straight line in this cut, um, today I'm using this Craig Jig. It's an Agri Cut. It's a tool that they make, and it basically allows you to use it as kind of like a little track system. So it takes your normal circular saw and it turns into something you get a really nice straight cut. And so there's really it's really simple. You have a couple pieces. You have this is the base that goes onto your circular saw. This is already pre-set up. There's a mark here where I know it has to go. It's set for this saw, so I can grab this off the shelf, put this in here really fast, tighten those two screws right here and here, and then I'm ready to go. And when I don't want to use it, just take those two screws off, put it back in your drawer, and use it as a regular circular saw. A couple of marks here. And then it has like grips on the back of it, so once you put some weight on it, it, it kind of sticks to your plywood and doesn't just move around freely. It just runs on that track right there. Runs right on the track. Now 
now you get your super straight line, very achievable, um, and it's something that you just put back on your shelf and use it when you need it. My wife uh, has been trying to make things very simple for people that are out there trying to do it, do it yourself. So the foam on the ground works really good. Obviously it would be nice if this is elevated on sawhorses, but for this instance, this is super cheap, super easy to achieve because you're cutting on the ground and you don't have a piece falling away at you. Um, it works really good for somebody that's uh, maybe not be experienced in, in using a circular saw every day. Or um, the other thing for me is like, I don't have to pick up a four by eight sheet of plywood by myself and put it on a table. I you know, I'm just, yeah, so, arm span is really, it's really difficult for me to do yeah, that by so myself. For the fact that- Put it on the ground. Uh, it's on the ground, you got a four by eight sheet, you don't have to wrestle. Um, you can cut it up into little pieces and then go from there. All the pieces are prefab, now we're heading upstairs and gonna go assemble a closet. Alright, so we're just placing the two towers and then we're going to tie them together with some 2x4s. We're just screwing those right here and then after that we can throw up the plywood panels and finish this thing out. Hey, you lost your helper. Checking out the progress on the closet. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, so these one by threes that we're putting up, they're gonna hide the seams in the plywood and they'll kind of look like the knee wall doors that we built. We're just scribing. So here's a quick and easy way to make your own uh, dowel rod holders. This is nothing more than a piece of plywood with a, uh, a hole drilled in the middle with a Forstner bit. Um, so it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of if we put one up on the end here with a hole, this other one that goes here, we'll go ahead and attach and that closet rod can't ever come out.
So we knocked this room partition closet out in just a couple of days. We used the really simple design of the two towers and then tied it in with the two by fours and then just paneled the back and I think it turned out spectacular. We're only into it about $150. So I think that is a bargain for an eight foot long closet. Um, don't forget there's tons of storage in all of these cubbies. Um, and you can check out that video from a couple weeks back. So I got some serious closet envy over here. Everything's so nice and organized and um, it's hidden in plain sight. So if she doesn't keep it as neat as we see it here, it will be okay because it's behind the wall. This closet, we have it in a room with a slanted ceiling, but it would also work in a room with a more traditional ceiling as well. And I could see this being like a mudroom on one side with coat hooks. And then on the other side, maybe your living space if you wanted to divide it out. The possibilities truly are endless. We're going to share the link to the plans in the description so you can grab those and modify it to your heart's content and build away. We appreciate you watching this week and we'll see you next Monday.